Hey there, game makers. Once again, I got hopefully a goodie for you. A quick and dirty, almost light system, but not too much. So what do I mean by that? Well, we change our game from this to, to this. And as you can see, looking much slicker. At least I think it's looking definitely more atmospheric. It's actually kind of the cheap man's way how to create an almost light system. Why do I say that? Because it's kind of just blending things together so they look good. It has some disadvantages because it's not completely true. And you cannot do everything with it, but just for upgrading the graphics, just making it look just much, much more slicker. Well, you can do that with just a few mouse clicks in Game Maker if you like. So stick around. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing and hearing, then why not consider sharing, liking, and subscribing to the channel? Of course. Alrighty, for context. So basically, what we are having is our game. We just overlay it with a black box, but as you can see, nah, that's not what we want. It needs to be kind of something like this. It's not transparency, which I'm, which I'm hinting at. Something similar, and then we are just having. I don't know, our light spheres, and as you can see, ooh, too much. Reduce the alpha until it looks good. And then we choo -choo, place them wherever we like to have them. And boom, that's it. And of course, a lot of games actually do that on the player also, which is following the player. So this is how it works, kind of easy. So why do I say this is not a light system? Well, a real light system would do something like this. It would cut into the darkness. This is not what we do. We just um, additive blend in the light spheres into well, what we have below. So this is what we do. It's kind of a pseudo light system, but for most games, it's more than good enough. So let's go into Game Maker and see how we can actually um, make this one. So here, this is already um, how it's supposed to look like. So the first thing we need kind of a darkness in quotations you can do that in multiple ways without surfaces surfaces are the specific one we just take here an effect which is color tint so and normally it's white that's not what we want we just give it uh, it's invisible so we just give it a specific color and as you can see ah, all right so we are tinting it to some darkness which is good and then optional i like to have a vignette additional so it's even radially so just smooth out the colors and then one thing which we do need is to have our light sources on one layer it's very specific because I will go, I'm gonna do some blending with that so normally what we have is just having those light spheres so how does that look like well it's just an empty object and then you just put in a spherical um, well sprite that's pretty much it. This is the whole thing. Nothing too specific. It's kind of easy. So you need to get one of those. Um, you can create one with Photoshop, but there's, there are tons of ways how to create that with different kind of uh, programs. And then you just place these guys over here and here and here, wherever you're having a light source. So for example, here, wherever we have uh, one of those torches, you just place them where they are needed. And then for example, once we started, uh, it looks a little bit off. It looks hard dittered. So the first thing which we need to apply is give all of them a specific alpha value. So you can just, I don't know, put that here and then just go alpha uh, 0 0.6 or whatever. Just make it so it looks good and nice and pleasing. Or you can just do it globally. Well, this is, for example, what I do. I just um, control them and just give them a specific alpha value and just fluctuate their image X and Y scale. So here, this is my light source one, light source two, and this is what they do. And then you can just fluctuate, but this is of course optional if you don't want to have it. And then once we place all these guys over here, we on this specific layer, change the blend in. So this is a new filter. And then the first one, well, blend additive. And then for example, once we start it, um, that's pretty much it. Then we are pretty much finished with the lights and as, as you can see, looking slick, looking pretty good. It's a little bit lighting up, that's correct, but it's not actually poking holes and really creating light. So please be aware of that. A real light system is actually made with a surface in Game Maker. At least this is the most common way how to do that. But of course, if you wanna do the cheap man's way of upgrading the graphics 
and making it look slick without actually doing anything, then this is the way to go. And this is very efficient for well, for the whole system because you don't really do anything. You just place instances and just some, some sprites and then that's it for the game. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, cheap man's way of the almost light system and see you in the next one. Have a good one. One up indie.